Throughout its nearly three and a half years, the Nintendo Switch has brought with it some of the most incredible games ever found on a video game console. Whether it's a brand new title or a deluxe version of an older title, the Switch is one of those systems that just never let its foot off the gas pedal. Just when you thought you were all caught up on games, another one comes out, and this continues to happen week after week after week. Whether you're looking to race in Mario Kart, duke it out in Smash Ultimate, explore a haunted hotel with Luigi, start your your own island paradise and animal crossing or get in a workout and ring fit adventure the nintendo switch offers something for everyone and i figured since there are so many games out there and even more coming i could share with you guys some that i think are going to be worth playing this holiday season What is up my friends? It's Ray back here and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the Nintendo Switch games worth playing this holiday season and well if I'm going to be honest beyond that as well. The Nintendo Switch is quickly becoming a timeless console with so many incredible games that it's just really really tough to keep up with all of the new releases that drop and this 2020 holiday season is going to be no different. From Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity to Pikmin 3 Deluxe to unique experiences like Mario Kart Live Home Circuit there's a lot new this holiday season to add on top of an already stacked lineup. Before we get started with this video though, I want to remind you guys to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified by YouTube whenever I decide to live stream and upload new videos. There is so much content coming down the pipeline that I don't want you guys to miss a thing. So with that said, let's get back to it. This holiday, the Switch game that will no doubt be the flagship release is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Age of Calamity is a prequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and it brings with it warrior-style gameplay for some incredibly intense battles. I absolutely loved Dynasty Warriors games back in the day, and I especially loved the original Hyrule Warriors, so I'm extremely excited that Age of Calamity is coming in this format. It's heart-pounding, it's intense, and the warrior style just makes sense in this case since the events prior to Breath of the Wild were just packed with so much chaos. Even though we already know the outcome here, Age of Calamity tells an excellent story and it comes packed with chaotic gameplay and an adventure to match. It's a totally different style than what you're used to in Breath of the Wild, but it will no doubt be a game worth playing. I can guarantee you guys that. If you want to give it a try for yourself, there's actually a pretty lengthy demo of it available on the eShop. The next game worth playing is Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Featuring many improvements over the original title on the Wii U, Pikmin 3 Deluxe is a surprising addition to the Switch lineup as it revitalizes one of Nintendo's most underrated and underappreciated series. Adventure around vast worlds while plucking out and using the mysterious yet adorable Pikmin to solve puzzles and strategically save the planet from a doomed fate. If you've never played a Pikmin game before, well, this is me telling you that you should, and there has never been a better time to dive into one. Pikmin 3 Deluxe is a very welcoming game that you can just hop right into without ever having played any of the previous Pikmin games before. As with Age of Calamity, there's also a demo of Pikmin 3 Deluxe over on the eShop, so if you want to give it a try, definitely head on over there and check it out. One of the most unique experiences that Nintendo is releasing this holiday is Mario Kart Live Home Circuit. Home Circuit is exactly what it sounds like it is, a live Mario Kart experience that you put together in your home. You create your own tracks using four cardboard goal posts and race around in a mixed reality environment with an actual RC Mario Kart. It's not quite a standard Mario Kart game like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Mario Kart 64, but it's not meant to be. Home Circuit is a completely different and unique experience that offers the fun of gaming in both the real and digital world. It offers the fun of building out your own courses in the real world and racing on them in the digital world on your Switch. Just be warned that Home Circuit is one of the hot items this holiday, so it is pretty tough to find. You guys know I've been wanting this thing since it was released and I did have a tough time finding it, but I tried eBay and it really wasn't that much more than the actual retail price so you can definitely find it in other places. Another game that I can easily recommend is Part-Time UFO. Part-Time UFO may very well be the most charming game on this list. What started out as a mobile game by the developers of Kirby Howl Laboratories has 
now evolved into one of the most addicting Switch games out there. Basically, you assume the role of a working UFO and complete puzzles such as fishing, putting toys away, and stacking cheerleaders. It's completely random, but that's the fun in it. The graphics are great, the soundtrack is awesome, and not to mention, it's a fun couch co-op game as well with a friend. If you like games like Snipper Clips or Box Boy and Box Girl, Part-Time UFO will be right up your alley. At only nine bucks, it's a no-brainer to download. This game is a blast. So how is all of this sounding right now? Is it overwhelming? Well, in addition to all of those exciting holiday releases, as I mentioned earlier, the Switch is packed with so many incredible titles worth diving into. So here are some other recommendations that I have for games I've been playing throughout 2020. The awesome Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection, Pokemon Sword and Shield, along with the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra DLC expansions, Paper Mario the Origami King, hands down one of my favorite games of this year, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, I still have yet to finish that one, Burnout Paradise Remastered, I loved it on the PS3, I love it here again on the Switch, Ori and the Wheel of the Wisp, fantastic game, Animal Crossing New Horizons, probably the game I logged the most hours into this year hands down, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, a fantastic remake of Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS classics, New Super Lucky's Tale, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time, one of those games that just randomly popped up and quickly became one of my favorites. I also finished up Luigi's Mansion 3, and on top of all that, I did a lot of working out with Ring Fit Adventure, since, you know, everything was locked down. I couldn't go to the gym, so Ring Fit Adventure actually really did come in handy. And it's surprising that this is actually making a comeback. I've been seeing it pop up in stores literally everywhere, and I think that about covers everything. So with that said, I would like to know what your favorite Nintendo Switch game is. Is it one that I mentioned here on this list? Is it another? I would love for you to share all of your favorite Switch games in the comments box down below so together we can help Switch owners new and old discover some hidden gems in the incredible growing Switch library. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, you know the drill by now. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.